reviews of books I haven't read in years. Okay, we're going to touch on the other George Eliot book, Daniel Deronda. This one, I loved this book. And I loved it for weird reasons. Uh, Daniel Deronda follows two characters. Uh, one is, of course, the eponymous Daniel Deronda. And the other one, I don't remember her name. Uh, they sort of come together. They go apart. They come together. Uh, they majorly come together at the shipwreck, which, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, there's a shipwreck. There is a tragic character who is a Jewish woman. Uh, Daniel Deronda finds out he's Jewish, and that's a big like problem at the time. A lot of this book is about Jewish heritage, but... I'm pretty sure George Eliot was not actually Jewish, so it's told from a sort of outsider perception of it from the outside way, but an empathetic one. Like, it's not it's not aiming to be racist. Uh, but the thing that I loved about it was the other storyline about the girl, who was this pretentious, stuck-up young woman who felt a lot like the heroines in most of the... 1800s and 1700s literature, high-class women just aiming to get married and live life. But she ends up in a relationship that she finds out the man she's always dreamed of is sort of an asshole. But the thing that really entranced me about it, and that I was too uncomfortable to write about at the time, was there is so much dominance and submission tone to this book. Like, her story feels pretty much like if you were writing the Victorian version of Fifty Shades of Grey, but also acknowledging the fact that the guy is an asshole and not involving actual sex. It's weird, but really well done.